Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way because Watford have announced a very, very exciting player indeed. Watford have signed Jamal Lewis on a season-long loan deal from Newcastle United with an option to buy at the end of the loan if Watford choose to do so. Um, and as you can see in my face, I'm absolutely buzzing about this signing. I'm really, really happy we got this one over the line. The rumours about this, um, as with a lot of Watford signings, come out probably over a week ago now. Um, I think it was The Athletic who broke the news originally. And, you know, as soon as I saw the news, I was like, yes, we have to get him through the door. He's a quality player. Still quite young as well, but he has experience at this level. He's British. Um, he can play in that left back, left wing back position. He's quick. He's got a good shot. Um, he's got a good cross on him as well. He's just got all the attributes we need in this Watford side um, at the moment. And I'm just absolutely so, so excited by this. I can't believe we've actually got this one um, done. You know, this is kind of like our marquee signing, really. Obviously, Watford have brought in so far. Matthias Martins back on another season-long loan deal from Udinese. We brought in Reese Healy, we brought in Tom Ince, we brought in Jake Livermore. Um, but for me, this signing is, you know, probably the most exciting out of all of them. So I'm buzzing. Are you guys buzzing? Let me know in the comments section down below. Make sure to subscribe as well. Don't forget to do that. Um, but yeah, what can we expect from Jamal Lewis at Watford? So you guys probably know him best for his time at Norwich City. That's kind of where his career started, his professional career anyway. Um, and he's kind of in that Norwich City super team. You know, take your minds back to the 2018-19 season. Norwich City got promoted. He was named in the Championship Team of the Year. Um, and Norwich had some great players. Jamal Lewis was playing at left back for them. They had Max Ahrens, Todd Cantwell, Emmy Boandir, Tima Puki was kind of in his prime at that point as well. Um, and yeah, Jamal Lewis was kind of part of that Norwich City super team. And ultimately, he earned a move to Newcastle United. I can't remember how much it was for, but I think it was over about £10 million. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, he earned that move to Newcastle United. Played quite a lot in his first season, I believe. Um, but obviously, last season, Newcastle had a fantastic year qualifying for the Champions League. And for any player at the club, aside from the first 11 who play week in, week out, it would have been very hard to break in to that Newcastle first team and Jamal Lewis kind of found himself in that situation. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's any harm in saying that he's not a Champions League quality player. I think that's clear for everyone to see. Um, but for Watford, he's going to be a great asset. And I think Newcastle um, have actually done a really good deal on letting him come to us and kind of revitalising his career. Because in all competitions last season, I believe he only made about five appearances, which... Um, if, you know, for any professional footballer, they want to be playing uh, much more regularly than that. So I think for Watford, for Newcastle and for Jamal Lewis himself, it's a good move all round. I mentioned earlier as well, Watford have an option to buy at the end of the loan if we choose to do so. Um, so again, I think that's a really positive step in the right, right direction as well. Another British player coming through the door. He's had 30 international appearances for Northern Ireland, I believe, as well. So an experienced international as well. Um, and yeah, I don't really have much more to say. I'm buzzing, as you can see. Hope you guys are buzzing as well. Let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comments section down below. Um, and yeah, as I said earlier, it's taken a long time for this signing to get announced. As with basically all our signings this season, we kind of find out two weeks before it actually happens. Um, and then I don't really know what happens, whether there's a delay in paperwork. I know Watford had um, that FIFA transfer embargo put on us the other day, which is very, very odd. And um, that's obviously since been lifted. And we've signed, uh, you know, a fantastic player in Jamal Lewis. So I'm very happy. I think it's a good step in the right direction. I can't wait for the season to begin next Saturday against QPR. Um, and I think it's going to be a real asset to the squad. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.